guys, it's Maria, and today I'm going to show you my hot glue sculpture collection. I started making hot glue sculptures around 7th or 8th grade, I think it was 8th grade, but I didn't start making videos until around my junior year of high school. So I'm going to show you the first one that I ever made. It all started with my parents were doing something with hot glue and I decided to play around with it. I was outside and I took a stick and covered it with hot glue and then decided to make what became a dog. It isn't very good, but it was my very first sculpture. As you can see, the legs and the head and everything have sticks inside it. That's how I started making it. So I made the dog a giraffe. For this one, I only used a stick for the neck and the rest I made just out of hot glue. And the penguin. This one also has something on the inside. And I also made this elephant. I also made this butterfly. After I made my YouTube channel, I made a bunny for my first hot glue sculpture. And a bunch of people started asking me to make... Started... A bunch of people started asking me to make more. So I did. The second one I made for a video was this elephant. It's a lot better than the first elephant I made. I just forgot to put tusks on both of them. Then I made a cat. I also made this emoji unicorn, which I don't have with me, but here is a picture of it. Now this one is made out of hot glue and I put glitter right here and the black and the red is nail polish. I also made these Christmas hot glue snowflakes, which I also don't have right now, but here is a picture of those. These right here are also made out of hot glue. For all of these, I have a video, but the video for these are a little different. On the video that I made these, I made these ones right here with glitter. If you watch the video, you see that I roll out the petals and when I do, I put glitter on them while they are drying. But for these, I actually made the petals, waited for them to dry, and then painted them with acrylic paint, and then put them all together. This next one is my favorite one so far. It is an alicorn, which is a pegasus and a unicorn together. So it has a horn and wings. It is, in my opinion, the best one I have made, and I love it so much. This one I made for my three-year YouTube anniversary. Black-footed ferret. Octopus. This one I really like because it has the little suction cups at the bottom of the tentacles. This one is one of your guys' favorites apart from the cat and the bunny and the unicorn. It's a howling wolf. I have also made a doll, and the dress is a little blue, she has a little bonnet, yeah! Woo! Hot glue frogs! Tiger! turtle. I dropped the lizard. Lizard! Okay, so this next one I also don't have with me. It is a helicopter with rotating blades. Wasn't actually that challenging to make. So I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the video. These are all in chronological order from when I've made them and posted the video on YouTube. So if you want to watch any of them and see how I made them, well, except for the very first four or five that I showed you. After the helicopter, I made another one of my favorites, a hummingbird. I think that all of the ones that have wings are my favorites. I just love how wings turn out. They're so pretty. Well, I've only made two 
with wings actually. This little guy is adorable. He's a little lamb. Well, at first I was trying to make a sheep, but I didn't add enough fur to it, so it just became a lamb. Pikachu. This is supposed to be a monkey. It doesn't really look like one too much, but I was also saving this one that I made. What was it? It was freshman year of high school. It's supposed to also be a monkey. I don't know why the glue is so yellow. Maybe it was a different type of glue, but yeah. This one definitely improved a little, but mm, not so much. This one is simple, but still cute. It's a snail. Combo panda. Pew, 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 pew. Sloth. I like this one a lot. I thought it would have turned out not too great because of how the monkey turned out and I feel like sloths and monkeys are kind of the same in certain aspects. Like they both have long arms, they both hang from trees. So I wasn't expecting the sloth to turn out as well as they did. This one is also one of my favorites. It's a fox. This next one I made, I also don't have with me, but it is a jellyfish. It was very fragile because the little strings, whenever I touched them, they would stick to my finger and then they would break off. So it was a little challenging to make that one. I had to repeat the threads, stingers, a few times before I got them all to not completely stick together or to my fingers or to the hot glue gun. So that one gave me a bit of trouble. After the jellyfish came the whale. All of the haku sculptures I make, most of them are pretty kind of realistic looking, but this one I decided to make more cartoony with a little splash there. And last but not least that you just saw last week, the Millennium Falcon. This one I wasn't very confident about. I thought it wasn't gonna turn out very well, and it didn't turn out bad, but it also didn't turn out great, like some of my other ones have, but I'm, I'm still pretty happy with it. And that is all the hot glue sculptures I have made so far. I've also made a few of them for some people that have asked me, or just little gifts that I've made, so I don't have any of those. If you guys are wondering how I make these, like obviously if you've seen the videos, you've seen how I make them, but that's not what I mean. How do I get them to look so realistic? That is actually a gift. Uh, it's also a lot of practice. My whole life I've been a very creative person and I have really enjoyed drawing, painting, sculpting. So I've been sculpting things with like Play-Doh and clay and whatnot since I was very little. So I started getting practice with that from a very young age. And these Hakula sculptures, they're not easy. So if you're trying to make one, don't feel bad if it doesn't turn out right. I mess up a lot and I have to fix it off camera. They usually turn out how I want them to, except for the monkey. But that is because I've had a lot of practice with it and I really enjoy making them. You know, some people are good at math, some people are good at writing. I'm good at art, that, like that that's what I do. I have been doing this for like seven or eight years. It wasn't easy at first. Look at the difference from my first hot glue sculpture to one of my more recent ones. So don't give up. That was totally not the point that I was going to. The point was, how do I make them? I always look at a picture that I find on Google and I go off that. I usually don't do it off my own imagination. They all take me about an hour or so to make, depending on the size. Also, when working with hot glue, you have to be really careful to not burn your fingers because it really hurts and it's really bad. So just be careful. And if you do end up burning yourself, put your burnt area under cold water. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Video. I know a couple of you have been wanting me to make this. Most of these sculptures I am selling on my Etsy store, which I will leave the link in the description and right here somewhere. So if you want to buy any of them, feel free to check out my Etsy store. Please give me a thumbs up. That really encouraged me to keep making these for you. I will see you next week. Bye.